Because you had uh, an injury, knee injury yeah. as well, that kind of set you back. You know, like I said, it's kind of like I said, yeah. mm -hmm. kind of hard to get back to that normal, you know, that way of playing. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, once the knee goes for a running back, at least in my opinion, man, that's I can break a, you know, it could be elbow, it could be wrist, fake, anything. But once you start messing with my knees or like ankle issues. Mm -hmm. We are running backs, man. So well, is that well, like well, is that a mental thing? Because you got to think Adrian yeah, Peterson. Yeah, you know, yeah. He, he kind of like kind of defied some. He of defied the odds. He, <laughs> he, he did like, defied he the, the odds, odds man. Defied Six the odds months of, later, I think right. he came, came back and back. he rushed for two thousand yards. 2, 000, and, yes. <laughs> yes. You as well. I mean, you rushed for two thousand. Like one not of four. A, not after. Not after. Not that, after. Though. But right. still, yeah. I mean, that's a big accomplishment in itself. But I mean. Again, like you said, I had an ACL injury. Like I said, that's a long and lengthy uh, process to get back to that, you know, your normal uh, playing form. And as you mentioned, we just mentioned uh, Robert, Robert Edward. He never got back to be that guy that we that you saw the trajectory yeah. uh, of what he could be. And um, I mean, you think of like I said, uh, Adrian Peterson. Like I said, he kind of defied the odds and obviously came back and was, obviously played better. Seemed like he was a better he was the running dude, back. The dude, the, the, dude is a, the dude is a machine. I don't right. know. Where, where was Defy at? Uh, that, uh, he might have been drinking it. That's what I said. At that time. <laughs> he he could have had it. Uh, if, for him, for, for me, I had other damage other than the ACL. Right, and that, MCL. you had MCL. MCL, like, yeah, had meniscus issues. So, everything. so when they went in, they they were like, okay, they fixed the ACL. But, you know, around there, that, that surface has to be smooth. Right. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, if, if they have to take out some of the meniscus, then that's where you start having a problem. Even today, and where I struggle, and you know this helps, but I, ultimately I'm gonna have to have knee replacement because I don't oh, have wow. any cartilage. Oh, mm -hmm. so you like bone on bone? I'm bone on bone. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, bone on bone. And, and I, so I'm doing as best I can, and I'm I'm yeah. I'm, I'm able to go out there, but especially like lateral stuff. Yeah. Right. If I try to do like lateral squats and try to like go this way, mm -hmm. man, it is it feels like somebody's got a, a blowtorch, right. and they're oh, just wow. like blowing it on. Yeah, it's just so. so and and when you're coming back from that injury, right? I think from a running back's perspective, it's all of that lateral movement that you cannot do Can't is why do. you never get back to that caliber of a running back, right? It's, it's that hatch. But you know what the other thing, too, is I remember coming back, and I blame myself because I pushed my rehab faster than my mm. body was ready for it. Ready for it. Mm -hmm. So we have external pressure. You know you got the contract that's coming up. You oh, know fans. Yeah. You know your teammates right, are right. sitting there saying, hey, man. You've been on the shelf a long time, brother. Yeah, like, what's up? Uh, and yeah. you know how it is when you get. It's the weirdest thing in the world, man. When you get hurt in the, in in the NFL, you feel like your teammates look at you differently. Yeah. You know. You don't know if they do, but it's a feeling. You, you feel. Have. You feel right. like you feel different because yeah. your schedule's different. You're in rehab, and then you. I wasn't going to meetings anymore because I wasn't playing, so mm -hmm. I didn't go to meetings. So I didn't see the fellas. Mm -hmm. You know, you see when they come in from practice and they get, you know, changed and they leave, and you mm -hmm. still sitting there in rehab. You hear them laughing like they laugh about yeah, me. They yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> so it was weird. So going through that, I realized that uh, I always tell people, don't let external pressure force you to get back on the field. And that, and I did because I felt not on that, but I felt like okay, my job is that. You know, mm, on the cats are playing well in my position right now. Mm. You know, Mike Anderson's coming out. Orlando's, you know, Orlando's Gary's playing. I'm like, I got to get back mm -hmm. to playing, right. you know, because you don't want nobody taking your, your, taking your job. And so I, I pushed it too much, and I just never healed. And it just it started to, it actually started to affect my left Start knee. Started compensating. Compensating too much. Yep, yep. over. And, and, a lot then, of, and a lot of kids, like you said, their external pressure, you got pressure from your coaches, Sometimes your parents, yeah. Um, and when you do that, like I said, you just set yourself up for something disastrous down the road. And like I said, if you don't go through that proper, you know, rehab program and let it take its course, mm. then as you said, things, other things are going to start popping up. That's that wasn't hurt. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So your body starts naturally, uh, you know, compensating because neurologically, your brain is going to naturally protect itself. It's trying to. Did you have a, you have any? No ACL, ACL, nothing. No, 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 you came out on my, my, hip, my hip that bothers me now. Again, when I played, it's like speed cut digs. Mm -hmm. Like I just felt like all them thousands of routes yeah. is just now it's starting to catch up. Right. That's the whole thing of you might not hurt at that point, but you just grind through it. So you got so you the knee re, not hip replacement is what you, what you got to do. I'm on the way. Oh, my God. I'm on the way. At some point, the same situation. Yeah, you saying that at some point you may have. Yeah. Or you may not, same yeah, with this I'm guy. on the way. <clears throat> and what I realized too, like, and we don't under, like, so we playing football, you just don't know all these things and they just start popping up. Like, I started to have, like, my fifth metatarsal. Uh, 
Mm, yeah. On my uh, on my foot, it kept like bugging. I started having stress fracture, and I'm like, why is my foot hurting? And as he said, once you like, you start running routes on one side more than the other. So you're starting to like plant, plant, plant on one foot like throughout training camp. Then you go through the season. And then I had to start switching it up to where now I'm planting off my right mm. instead of my left. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. All the time. Yeah. So I realized some of those things to try to help balance out, you know, like I said, a lot of the pressure. Like I said, it's a stress fracture because you're stressing it out. You're doing too much over and over. over over and over again. But you, so I'm pretty sure that's probably, yeah. he probably didn't notice yeah. at the time. He was probably on one side of the yeah. formation or whatever, and he yeah. kept running those same over routes and over, over and over and over again. You know, you think about it, we do thousands of reps. Thousands. Right. You know, people you don't, got, people don't think about it over years <laughs> right. upon years. We do thousands. Yeah, I mean, you got to think, go from high school to college, then the pros, then you got your individual workouts. Yeah. All that, all of that takes a toll. And so for you, obviously, like I said, you weren't able to be be the same. Like I said, you probably had reconstructive, and then you couldn't get back to that plan form because, and you probably again, you pushed yourself probably sooner to get back on that field sooner than you were ready for. And then now for a running back, your your livelihood is based on reaction. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that cutting. And Balance, all and of that stuff, lateral stuff that you yeah. said. Like I said, if, if it's not fully healed, then it's going to be tough. And you said reaction. Mm -hmm. And the and the key is real time reaction. reaction. And not what I mean just, is not the bag, <laughs> and what, right? Yeah, and what I mean by that is <laughs> when I came back, and I I had never experienced this in my life. I remember thinking my mind is telling my body to, to cut, but it's taking just a I mean wow. so a fraction of a second for it to do it. Mm. So I, it was almost like playing a video game and you got that and you got the bad Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you, the glitch. And, and you got the glitch. Yeah, and you yeah. That's what I felt like. I was glitching. Wow. Right. And so I had, to, I had to think about, I had to actually choreograph a few times r trying to run with the ball. And I'm like, you can't, there's you no can't way. You can't do it. Right. It's, it's got to be it's instinct, it, instinctive and it's got to go. And I remember, and it was just, it was mentally wearing me down because I'm like, this thing will not fire. Mm. And I try to explode and I'm telling my, myself to explode. I take a plant foot, and it would just seem like it would just take too long for me to do it. Mm -hmm. And it just, it was just struggle, man. So I knew I was, I knew, I tore my ACL in 1999, mm -hmm. and so that year, I knew at the end of that year, when my rehab wasn't, or actually going to 2020, um, 2000, 2000 mm -hmm. I knew that going to 2000 that it, my career was over. Mm. Really? I knew it. Because it just because I had pushed, I, man, yeah. I had pushed, and I, I'm like, I, I had done everything, and it just kept, I kept having setbacks, and it just never would get to that point, wow. and I kept going in and having, I had over 30, well, not total over 30 procedures, but I kept going back in there, they kept taking more, oh. more of the chunks out. Mm. Wow. And so eventually, eventually, I'm like, it's yeah. done. <laughs>